Hi guys, welcome. In this video, I am going to give you a brief demonstration about using scan solution feature of exam.net. Before starting your exam on exam.net, you must consider to go through the exam checklist. Keep your device fully charged or if using computer or laptop, must consider to keep the power connection handy. Ensure to have a stable internet connection and have at least one backup source. It can be your mobile hotspot with good internet speed. Keep your exam key ready which is shared by your teacher. Keep your writing papers ready on which you are going to write your answers. Ensure to have ruled pages only for proper writing. Also keep a few graph papers with you. You may be required to answer some graph based questions. Along this, ensure to keep your stationary items well organized and handy. This should include at least two ball pen with black or blue ink, sharp pencil, eraser, sharpener, ruler and calculator if required. Although you can use the inbuilt calculator during your exam in the exam page. Last but very important, you should keep a good camera device with internet connectivity for scanning your answer sheets. Ensure your device have pre-installed QR code scanner if it does not support the same. When you are all set to go, open your web browser and type exam.net in the address bar and press enter. You will be directed to the home page of exam.net where the default view is for student. If it is not set on student mode, click on the student and then enter the exam key provided by your teacher. Remember, while entering the exam key, make sure you enter a valid and correct exam key for the exam you are going to appear. Now click next. After clicking on next, a pop-up will appear requesting you to choose from high security mode or continue in this browser. Although it is recommended to choose high security mode, you can select continue in this browser. Now enter the details required your first name, your last name, your class and your email id. Check your enter details once for any errors and if it's all correct, click on the button fetch the exam. Once you click on fetch the exam, a pop-up will display showing the exam is ready. Now you are all set to enter the exam. Once you click on begin exam, your browser will enter in the full screen mode and your question paper will be visible to you. The main screen shows two partitions. By default, it is divided horizontally where the above part shows the question paper and the below part shows the writing area. You can also change this layout as per your convenience to vertical division of screen which shows question paper and writing area side by side. On the left side of your screen, you will see the menu tabs. The first tab shows your name. The second tab is show exam, which is your current exam window. The third tab is of additional requirements during this exam. For an instance, in this exam, an additional material is a formula booklet. This tab will be visible if your teacher provides any additional material which is needed to you during the exam. The next tab is of calculator which you can use during your exam. Again, this tab is also visible if your teacher enable it. Otherwise, it is not visible to you and you are not permitted to use calculators for this exam. The next tab is scan solution tab. By clicking this tab, you can scan your answers and upload it to the current exam. The next tab is teacher chat. You can click on this tab and seek for help from your teacher for any doubts during the exam by writing in the chat box. The last tab is for submitting the exam. Once you have completed the paper or your exam time is over, whichever is earlier. At the bottom of this menu bar, you can see the current time, status of your device and remaining time for your exam to complete. All right. Now let's begin to answer the questions and remember to complete the paper in stipulated time.
When you have completed the paper, cross check your answers. If you find any mistakes, rectify the errors. Do not scribble around the whole sentence. Instead, just strike through the words or sentence and rewrite the correct answer in the white space. Write the page number clearly on each of your answer sheet. Now you are ready to upload your answers. Click on the scan solution tab from the left menu bar. When you click on this tab, a window will be seen with a QR code. Take your camera device which can be either a mobile phone or iPad or tab with internet connectivity. Open the camera app and scan the QR code. A message will be seen to go to exam.net in your device's browser. Note that only solutions may be photographed and not to include anything else such as faces or images. Click on the scan solution button at the bottom of the page and click the photo of your answer sheet. Keep the camera in landscape mode while taking photograph. If you see the image is clear, click OK or else click retry and retake the photograph. If you have taken the image in portrait mode, click on rotate tab at the top of the image and align it correctly. Now click on the upload button. As soon as you click on upload button, a message with text box will appear on your exam.net window to save the image. On your device, the code to be entered in this text box will appear. Enter this code in the text box and click OK to save the image. Your first photo is now saved in the exam.net as your answer. Click on the show exam tab and check the photograph. Continue the same process for all other pages and upload all your files in the writing area for answers. Rearrange the order of images as per the page numbers by simple drag and drop with mouse. When all the work is done, you are all set to submit your paper with answers. Click on the Submit Exam tab in the left menu bar and Confirm. It's done. You have successfully submitted the paper. Thank you for watching the video.